Hello everyone and welcome to this webinar on how to master compliance and minimize risk in your cloud environment. My name is David McKissick and I'm a pre-sales engineer at Tripwire. Everybody talks about the cloud but not everyone knows what it is. People who don't know are maybe too afraid to ask so let's remove this mystery straight away and explain what the cloud is. A cloud is a visible mass of condensed and watery vapour floating in the atmosphere typically high above the general level of the ground. But everyone knows that, right? In terms of IT, the first thing you should understand about the cloud is it's not a physical thing. The cloud is a network of servers and each server has a different function. The cloud is just a metaphor for the internet. It goes back to the days of flowcharts and presentations that represent the gigantic server farm infrastructure of the internet as nothing but a puffy white cumulus cloud accepting connections and sending out information as it floats. Chances are you encounter the cloud daily, from Google Drive to OneDrive to iCloud to Evernote. Anytime you store information without using up your phone's internal data, you're storing information on the cloud to run applications or to deliver a service. So let's talk about some of the cloud benefits. The business decision to move to the cloud is often financially motivated. Companies used to have to buy their own hardware equipment the value of which depreciated over time. But now with the cloud, companies only have to pay for what they use. This makes it easy to quickly scale up or down. Cloud services are also robust and can dramatically reduce the time it takes to recover from a severe outage, as well as being agile in terms of software updates and feature upgrades. Finally, the very nature of the cloud allows data to be accessed from practically anywhere meaning mobile workforces aren't reliant on remote access infrastructure and can access company data when needed, even as they're walking into a meeting. The cloud throws up many of the same challenges that would typically be experienced by an on-premise environment, but the cloud can be an unknown entity, so the challenges are somewhat enhanced. Let's take a look at five different challenges that are most likely to be faced when deciding your cloud strategy. The lack of resource and or expertise. The idea of moving infrastructure and services to the cloud sounds easy, but cloud environments come with many different options and settings. Before any configuration even begins, you need to decide on which platform to use, whether it be Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud, or something else. Once you've decided, do you have the required skills in-house to adopt these platforms easily? Whilst it may be easier for a large enterprise organization to build a team, whether that's organically or through hiring, it's much harder for smaller companies. SME organisations may find adding cloud specialists to their IT teams to be prohibitively costly. Luckily, many common tasks performed by specialists can be automated using a variety of tools on the market. Security. Arguably the biggest concern when adopting the cloud is how it can be secured whether that's restricting the type of content sent to the cloud or stopping content from being taken from the cloud. It's a regular occurrence to hear of a data breach in the news, and historically, this was an on-premise architecture being compromised and the data stolen. Many more leaks, breaches and hacks that we hear about are the result of poor security implementation within the cloud, and this may result from the point above, which is the lack of expertise, or it could be a simple mistake during implementation resulting in misconfiguration. Cost management. One of the biggest benefits of cloud computing is the ability to access extra resources quickly and easily, simply by increasing your license or subscription. Compare this to needing more disk space in a physical server, where you'd be required to buy and install new hardware, which takes time to purchase and also time to install. However, the on-demand and scalable nature of cloud computing services makes it sometimes difficult to define and project quantities and costs. Governance. With an on-premise environment, it's relatively straightforward to ensure IT governance by properly controlling and maintaining systems and devices, ensuring the assets are supporting the organization and effectively delivering the business goals. With the cloud, you don't have full control in the environment. You're not able to provision and deprovision elements of the infrastructure. This ultimately has increased the difficulty for IT to provide the governance, compliance, and risk management required. Performance. When outsourcing service to the cloud, 
you're never going to be sure of the performance until it's fully implemented. This goes somewhat against the grain with physical hardware and services, as it's normally a tried and tested scenario, and even when performance is stifled, it's easier to troubleshoot. Additionally, all the major cloud providers have experienced outages, and this will definitely need to be considered when choosing and implementing your cloud supplier. Now let us look at three different companies and the recent breaches they've experienced. You may not be immediately familiar with the name and logo of DeepRoot Analytics, but you'll most likely remember their breach. It occurred back in June and involved the disclosure of data on US voters. The details included such bits as home addresses, birth dates, phone numbers, and the results of analysis on how they might vote on specific issues. This wasn't a small breach either, with some 198 million voters affected. In October 2016, Politico reported that the US hit a new high for registered voters of 200 million. And as we can see, this breach affected 61% of the US population and there's now a class action lawsuit taking place. So what was the root cause of this massive breach? Misconfiguration. Specifically, a misconfigured Amazon S3 bucket. This wasn't a malicious attack either, but a mistake. The AA, or Automobile Association, in the United Kingdom will show up to repair your car and get you moving again. But they also run an online store. It was through this online store that they exposed 13 gigabytes of customer data. The data included, again, home addresses, phone numbers, and even a number of hash password and partial credit card numbers. There were only 120,000 identified individuals affected, but the quantity of data was quite large. And the root cause of this breach? It's another misconfiguration, but not the same as deep root analytics, in this case, a server misconfiguration exposed backup data on the internet. Breach number three goes to Verizon. In this case, Verizon disclosed data on 14 million subscribers. And this breach has some interesting details to consider. Data subscribers who called into customer service was leaked in this breach, including phone numbers and account pins. The interesting part is that the breach occurred through a party analysis company. So while Verizon is certainly responsible, they weren't directly managing the technology in this case. We also have a, a repeat root cause here. This is another misconfigured Amazon S3 bucket. Why have I selected these three breaches? These are not highly sophisticated attack techniques. These breaches don't require extensive means and resources. They require basic foundational security controls applied consistently across an organization. And all these three organizations were using internet-based services. In the case of DeepRoot and Verizon, it was Amazon AWS cloud infrastructure. Tripwire Cloud Management Assessor, or CMA for short, is an additional module within Tripwire Enterprise, an industry-leading file integrity monitoring and secure configuration management solution that allows you to seamlessly monitor your Amazon AWS, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud configurations from within Tripwire Enterprise. Monitor Amazon S3 buckets and Azure Blob Storage repositories for changes and ensure your configurations are secure, as well as being able to view your cloud nodes alongside the rest of your on-premise hosts, databases, and network devices. It's easy to say in hindsight if the three organisations we previously discussed had CMA, then they could have validated the S3 buckets were set to private rather than public and avoid a messy lawsuit and public embarrassment. Cloud Management Assessor also validates your cloud configurations against the CIS benchmark, with each element being tested against the policy. Within the policy are four main categories to check against. Identity and access management, logging, monitoring and networking, and each category contains tests for various security configuration values. It's all good and well seeing which tests you've passed, but with Tripwire, we also show you how to remediate any failed tests, allowing you to get to and maintain compliance. These remediation details take the form of step-by-step -step instructions that need to be carried out. And because it's all integrated into Tripwire Enterprise, all your compliance tests and results for all assets, whether hosted in the cloud or on-premise, are located in a single location. Finally, 
Tripwire Enterprise will collaborate all of your reporting data from your cloud infrastructure, giving you a single location to view a wide range of reports, such as changes over time, compliance test results, and data per node. All reports can be drilled into to gain even greater visibility for engineers and management alike, showing where the risk and compliance shortcomings are and allowing you to react in a timely manner. Thank you, David, for that concise overview of securing the cloud. So in summary, we've taken a look at the following. An explanation of the cloud, some of the advantages and reasons as to why businesses and organizations are moving to the cloud, the high importance of securing cloud environments and applications, and Tripwire's foundational controls best practice approach to providing centralized security controls for cloud environments. If you'd like any further information, please visit our website on www.tripwire.com or please contact me on the details at the end of this presentation. Thank you very much.